Hi, I'm Taylor Boudreaux, the executive chef of the Napa Valley Grill here in Los Angeles, California. Today we're going to demo for you our Maryland style crab cakes. All right, so very easy with the crab cakes. Uh, first things first is you want to start off with some beautiful lump crab meat. This is a, a pound of crab meat that we've gone ahead and picked through all the shells um, so that all that's left is, uh, is just this beautiful crab. And you want to keep this together during the process. Um, so you want to be very careful as you're mixing it that you don't tear it apart or macerate it. Uh, so first things first, we're going to add one egg. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of Dijon, fresh thyme, some Old Bay seasoning, can't make a Maryland style crab cake without Old Bay, some uh, fresh lemon juice, about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons of minced green onions, and a little bit of Worcestershire. And this is going to help give it some great flavor. And then we're going to whisk all these ingredients together until they become nice and incorporated and you stop seeing like big lumps of mayonnaise in your sauce. And what this is going to do is with that egg, it's going to act as a binder to hold all of our crab, uh, crab cakes together when we go to cook them. Um, so what I like to do next is I like to add in the crab and you just want to gently kind of add it all in there, making sure it's all broken up. And then with a nice spatula, you can use your hands. Uh, you just want to incorporate it very easily so that it's nice and coated. And then I take about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Now this is panko, it's a Japanese breadcrumb. Um, it's, uh, it's very flavor neutral, uh, but it does the trick. And this with the egg and the mayonnaise is going to create that excellent binder for the crab cakes. And you just want to sprinkle these right on top get a nice even distribution, go back through, and then we're going to take these and pop it in the refrigerator and let it sit for about 20 minutes. So you can't have a great crab cake without a great sauce. Now, a classic sauce that we would serve with a, with a crab cake would be a tartar sauce, uh, but since I am Cajun and I want to stay true to my New Orleans roots, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little remoulade, uh, and it's basically just kind of a zippier version of a classic tartar sauce. So uh, we're going to start with uh, some uh, mayonnaise, which is a great base. And then I've got some uh, some minced scallions. I've got about a teaspoon of uh, Worcestershire we're gonna add in there. I've got a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce, some chopped capers, about a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of sweet relish. You can also use dill relish if you're not a big fan of sweet relish. Some chopped white onion. You use red onion too. You'd like to give it a little bit more color and we're gonna add uh, a little chopped parsley. You just mix it all up, incorporate it. You wanna let this sit for a little while before you use it to give it a, all the flavors or a, a chance to really kind of marry together. Um, you taste it like right after you mix it, It'll taste kind of bland, but those, those flavors will really bloom uh, if you just let it sit for a little while. So uh, we're going to let this sit for a second. We'll come back, we'll give it a taste, we'll adjust it if we need to, uh, you know, add a little bit more caper or add some salt or, or what have you. All right, so we'll probably time to check out our crab cakes at this point. So the crab cakes ready to go. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually form the crab cakes. Um, and then I, I'll, I'll, I'll show you one way that we cook them here at the restaurant. I'll explain a couple different ways that you can do them. Um, but you're going to take about two ounces of crab meat, um, and you can either kind of force them in to a cake with your hands and squeeze out some of the excess moisture, um, you know, and then you can pan fry that. Uh, or you can do what we do, is we have these little uh, two-inch ring molds, uh, and we just kind of we pop the crab into the ring mold, get all the excess moisture out. And then when you pull the crab out of the ring mold, you've got a perfectly formed cake just like that. So when we plate these at the restaurant, we do two crab cakes to an order. Uh, so we're gonna make two of these. So the way that we cook them here at the restaurant is uh, we cook them off in the uh, pizza. Uh, and then we just take a, um, a nonstick pan or, or, uh, or a French gelt like this one, uh, 
scrape a little bit of uh, vegetable oil on the bottom. Take the crab cake and put it right in the bottom. And throw them out in, in the back of the oven. So the crab cakes are ready. Uh, we let it cook for five minutes, flip them over, um, and let it go for another three minutes. Uh, and at the same time, I uh, all off camera, I tasted this. We decided to get a little bit of salt, uh, and we added a little bit of smoked paprika to kind of give it a little more depth of flavor. Uh, but this is right exactly where these be. Um, we'll pull these out. Uh, and then we're gonna plate them. Uh, plating on these is very simple. You know, there's no need to like really complicate it. Uh, so we just take some of this, this remoulade that we made, put a base down around the bottom, and then we're going to come back, pull the crab cakes out, just put them right in the middle. And there you have our Maryland style crab cakes, uh, very simple. Uh, very straightforward, which is exactly what we try to do here at the Napa Valley Thanks for joining me. My name is Taylor Boudreaux, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.